Valderos of the Paracronix Clutch, the last of three. You are judged today before the Council of the Faceless. You are permitted to offer a statement in defense of your crimes. You know... Honestly, I do really like your use of shadows here. Although, you do realize I can recognize all of your voices. This is no time for your levity, whelp! Anyone else would be trialed for execution! He isn't anyone else, Arbiter. We don't kill our own kind. The accused can no longer be trusted around our own kind. Hey, hold on a tick. Para? <laughs> Don't tell me you're attending this. This council will remain anonymous and respected, whelp! Well, fine. Then I'll just go on pretending that I don't know my own brother. Silence! Arbiter, I know this is unprecedented. But what about the option of exile? Exile? Yeah, exile? What, are you coming to my rescue, Para? Personal relations aside... <clears throat> Arbiter, you are the only one among the Council who wants to see him executed. So, this is the judgment of the Council, then? Already made up your minds, have you? Very well. Though exile will not stop him, I am not about to begin in tarnishing our traditions. You will face only banishment, Valdoros, but you trespass back into our lands from now into eternity. I will have no choice but to revoke that privilege. May the outside world be as kind. This the place? Of course this is the place. This map cost me my best compass. <sighs> well, let's just hope it actually pays out this time. Oh, come now, Cascara. Are you brandishing your fell doubts at me? Need I remind you of my countless escapades, enduring charm, and the... Come on, you... His doors have presented our first challenge! Angel <laughs> Tower, prepare to relinquish your overweight loot to me, Louis Legrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Oh, I'm sure you'll warm up to this place eventually. Why, well, just look at this! What could it do? Why is it here? Oh, the walls are just sweating with mystery. Didn't you say this was the lair of a dragon? Uh, don't it just look all rumor. Louis Legrand does not believe in silly rumors. Come, we must explore the tower. This hall is saying my name incorrectly. Uh, still no piles of gold? Foolish humans. I'm worth far more than mere mortal currency. I've beheld secrets beyond your wildest dreams. Aha! Let it never be known that Louis Le Grand never turned down a treasure that proclaims its own worth. Careful! Ah, wherefore, my sweet Cascara? Careful is one of my various middle names, right between dashing and handsome. <sighs> Don't open that book. What? Who goes there? You'll find my name is none of your concern. Ah, hello. Didn't see you there. Nice axe. I prefer swords myself, but... You know what's great about decapitated heads? They don't talk. Right. Good point. The blonde one is the keeper of the tower. Do not trust his lies. Keeper of the tower? What are you, some kind of wizard? Good grief, no! I mean, sure, I get it. Spooky tower, robed man, books everywhere, but seriously, and I mean seriously, those are certainly not the rumors I've taken great care spreading about this region whatsoever. Oh. Huh. So are you the dragon of the tower then? Well, what else could I possibly be? I don't know. The tower looks abandoned. Don't judge my living sensibilities. <laughs> uh, I hate to be the, uh, how do you say, burdening distraction here, but... I'm still wanting to know if I should open this book or not. Trust me, parting the pages of that book is likely the last thing you want. How do you know anything about what we want? Oh, please, how could I not? You're adventurers! Plundering is practically your job description. You've even got a man wearing a feather hat. Uh, no offense, by the way, I do love that hat. Mm. Oh, is it pleasure? Yeah, well, how do you plan to stop us, dragon? You gonna breathe fire on us? <sighs> Dragons don't breathe fire, you dolt. They exhale it. Occasionally. Open the book. You fools, no! Ah, <laughs> yes. I can see again. Oh, how the world has grown. Mon Dieu! What is it? He's not an it. Please, that is the soul of a slain prophet trapped in a book. Thank you very much. If he's sealed in a book, then how is he dangerous? Oh, he's not really. It's just that this tower is enchanted to implode if anyone tries to open him. What? I tried to warn you. Why should we have trusted you? Why would you have trusted a talking book? Ah, in the final words of my father's father, Zatoran! Where are you going? The entrance! No, 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 follow me! Who put you in charge? Who the hell are you anyway? I've told you, I'm Valderos, from the ancient city of Cedarvant. I'm 730 years old, and today, I'm the man who's going to save your lives. Have you got a problem with that? Yeah, it sounds made up. Oh, come on! Prove you're a dragon and I'll trust you. I, I can't! I need sufficient room! Yeah, see? Made up! <sighs> Fine! Have it your way. Capricious is also one of my middle names. 
Oh. This is your way out? It's a work in progress. <laughs> Cornered are we, Valdros? Or are you finally going to share to this illusion? <sighs> Talked about this, Eternius. Nobody likes a vengeful, grumpy eyeball. What? Why? What are you doing? I told you I need room. You still expect. You. You're not a wizard. You're a wizard! Lizard! I'm not a wizard of any kind! Was my home, you blithering haggards? What? Uh, he's a dragon!